pushing personnel to their limits as they take this forces strongman competition up a gear. And with a variety of military vehicles at their disposal at the Defence Squad of Transport, where better to pull a vehicle or two? Get low, get low. Get your body down, as if you're going to tackle, as if you're going to tackle. From Land Rovers with added weights making it two tonnes for the women to pull. Two logistic vehicles, the novices started pulling 12 tonnes across 15 metres with only 60 seconds on the clock, whereas the more experienced faced a gruelling 18 and a half tonnes to pull on a rope. And it was clear they didn't find it easy. How was that? Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. When you say disgusting, what, what do you mean? Uh, so currently, I mean, I pulled it a couple of minutes ago. I still feel like my eyes are bulging out of my head. Um, I've got, my, my biceps are hurting, my legs are hurting. Hard off the line, and um, you need to get momentum, and it gets a bit sticky. You can see where everyone's slowing down, and you just got to like really battle it out. It was the women who broke two new records on the day in a fight for the title. W01 Sheridan Lucas smashed the 15 metre pool in only 18 seconds, hitting a new forces record. As they break down the records, organisers are calling on more women to join the growing sport. We do have females attending at above average rate for the makeup of the armed forces, but we're not in a position where we can comfortably run female categories um, to provide seasoned competition. Competition. So today we had two competing, which means that you guarantee a podium place. Um, in the past we've had maybe five or six. For us it's now about consistency. So consistency in the narrative that irrespective of body shape, size, sex, experience, you can come by, you can try strong man or strong women in a safe space. The competition was judged by two big names in the strong man and women world. England's second strongest woman and Britain's strongest man for 2023. In this male-dominated sport, they both hope to see more female competitors. It's not just that strongman comps are held in a gym and we're just given an ollie bar to lift overhead and to deadlift. It's we're actually given specialist kit. You know, today we've got three different logs for the girl, girls to try, you know, that they could try and they could do. There's different sandbags. People are making kit now to include the women and that feels so special because when I first started it was, oh, the only log we've got is this, you're going to have to learn to press it. And that's why I progressed so quickly because it was, it was either make it or I don't. Forces Strongman has come a long way, but it's still not an official Forces sport. Organisers behind the events hope that it will all change in the not-so-distant future. Yeah, if, if you asked me last year, I, I would have hoped to be standing here speaking to you right now as a recognised sport. Um, we have submitted our applications and we've received some really thorough feedback, which has given us a lot to get on with. Hopefully this time next year, at this event in Leckenfield uh, in October 2025, um, I will be standing talking to you as a recognised sport. From the more familiar Fingal Fingers in the sporting world to the typical log press, there was more than enough for them to get their teeth into. Kirsty Chambers, BFBS Forces News, Leckenfield. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.